Well, welcome folks. This is Lowell Ann. So glad you decided to join us. Welcome to Being Your Own CEO interview series. My plan is to help local victorious solo entrepreneurs by giving them some profile on Google Plus and on YouTube. Uh, I discovered Google Plus several months ago and have found the learning experience was a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, very invigorating, I might say. Um, but I, it's a new world and that I've discovered and I really wanted to share it. So this evening, I want to introduce uh, Su Suzanne Heron to you. Um, I, Suzanne, I noticed that you posted on your Google Plus uh, um, profile that um, you thought Google Plus would be your next Facebook for business. Does yes. that uh, kind of fit for you? Well, yes, partly because um, uh, it's really easy to post pictures on Google Plus, and, ah. and pictures are what I do. So, uh -huh. uh, and I think it's, I, I think it's got, well, as you mentioned, the, the, uh, the trajectory of Google Plus is, uh, is just huge, right? It's skyrocketing. And um, so I think it's, it's going to be the next busy place for, for people. And, and, and I think it'll be more focused on people in business than, uh, like, I like Facebook for the personal side. But uh, I think Google Plus is going to be really busy, friend, uh, business friendly. Yes, and I couldn't agree with you more. Um, so for our guests who are out there and watching, um, if you're in the event and you scroll down a little bit, there are places where you can post things. And I have put uh, a little uh, piece there with uh, Suzanne's uh, link there. So if you would like to ha go and have a look at her uh, Google Plus posting, you'll see that um, she has, it's a very, very visual um, um, posting. I um, And I'm really, really excited that she's got one of my favorite, can you see it? <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite cards as her banner. And it's my favorite card because I walk there two or three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> right there at Cattle Point in Victoria here. So uh, I sure can relate to uh, to um, Suzanne's um, um, profile. So um, what do you say we spend a little bit of time, Suzanne, just kind of getting acquainted? Um, that's kind of the, the purpose of all of this. I'm, and I'm going to turn my, my notes over here so I, I won't forget the things I want to ask you. Okay, so um, Suzanne's business is called Blue Heron Art Enterprises, right, Suzanne? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself. You, um, you live in Victoria now, but um, have you always lived here, or did you come from no, somewhere else yeah. like a lot of us? Yes, we uh, you know brought the kids up in Ontario, and uh, and uh, Dolph said my husband Dolph said I want to end up on uh, on the Gulf Islands, and I said okay, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, so we did some hunting around, and so our goal is actually Laskiti Island, uh, which is one of the more obscure Gulf Islands. Um, uh, and and we were there for uh, for much of about two years building and you know getting actually kind of hacking a place out of the wilderness, but um, golly the crash of September two thousand eight happened and we looked at each other and said oh my god we have to go back to work um, and there's not a whole lot of work on Laskiti so we came back to Victoria. And uh, uh, I had what I considered a stellar resume in uh, 30 years of community development and also 20 years of, of, uh, of uh, co-owning a retail business. And uh, couldn't, the, couldn't find a job for love nor money. 
Um, and it was at the end of that whole process that uh, people started kind of acknowledging or, you know, the feeling that I had, which was Victoria can be quite insular, and if you don't know people, then you then you just haven't got a, a leg to stand on, and, and lots of people said, yep, that's true. Um, anyways, so what was what was left for me was to uh, start my own business, and we'd always had well, not always, but for probably ten years, have kind of had this idea about. Um, I mean, the the one idea that I started with was the idea of developing a uh, a calendar that would um, that would just just shout out what an amazing place we have here. And uh, so that's kind of, I, we said, well, this will be the chance to try it. So, so tried that. And, and what I have discovered is that um, I'm, I'm still doing the community development <laughs> work that I always did, just in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you said Laskiti, uh, uh, I mean you um, you mentioned that in in uh, some notes that that I got from you, and I I had no idea where that was. I I well, first of all, I think I've heard the heard the name, but I don't think I ever saw it before, and I didn't didn't recognize it. So, how many people live on Laskiti? Laskiti is geographically the size of Manhattan, and I think there are just over 400 people living full time there and then you know tons more in the summer but in some ways it's kind of an intentional community um, although uh, the, the folks there would balk at, at having that label um, because there's it's a lot of uh, well the thing about Laskiti is is uh, you can think of any aspect of human nature and you will find someone all along the continuum on Laskiti. So you have to really embrace diversity to to mm -hmm. be a part of, of Laskiti. Um, but it's uh, one of the I mean one of the things that attracted us was uh, uh, there's no provincial hydro, so everybody does their own thing. We've got our solar panels um, mm. up on the you know up and and uh, that whole that whole you know setup and um, Another thing that really impacted us. Pardon me. Self-sustainable. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. And uh, another thing that really attracted us was um, uh, it's a passenger-only ferry. There are cars on the island, but they have to be barged over. So there's no, you know, streams of tourists coming in the summer and driving around and. And poking their nose in, and that was a very kind of an intentional thing. Uh -huh. um, and the full, and the ferry never runs on Tuesday. And that is <laughs> what, what is it about Tuesday? <laughs> well, they just had to pick a day, oh. and the idea is it's impossible then for for it, for the island to become a bedroom community for Parksville and Nanaimo. Uh -huh. um, okay. So it's so it's very community. Very community oriented, and uh, and so we really like that about it. So what were what were your plans plans when you went there uh, to homestead to farm to well pre well pretty much I mean to just lay back I mean, and retire. Well, I think the first conversation that Dolph and I ever had was about a little place on a cliff top by the ocean with a bit of arable land and a stream running down, and that's what we've got. Right. So Dolph says he's got he's got one more house in him, and um, so that's what we'll do: house, garden, right? Yeah. Now. And I so I wanted to develop a business that I could run from Laskiti because we've got you know four bars, internet, stellar internet. Oh and, really? Um, right yep. Mm. Yep. So uh, so part of the idea behind my business was something that I could uh, that I could run from there. And and I've discovered that that's absolutely possible. Hmm. So um, so 
you also mentioned that um, in your early days, uh, in your notes, you you mentioned that you um, um, you started out in biology and then went to adult education and yeah. then went to community development. <laughs> I noticed that you uh, were executive director of a um, a women's shelter system, or or yes. one women woman shelter. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I was, uh, yeah, I was the first executive director of a shelter. This was in Ontario, mm -hmm. and uh, ended up staying involved with them for probably yeah, well, yeah, over twenty years. Um, oh, really? uh, you know, either volunteering on the board, that sort of thing, and. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and so that was that was really great, and and so it's it's great here in Victoria. So now I've become uh, a member of the um, of the Seroptimists of International Victoria West Shore, oh. which which I had never heard of the Seroptimists before. But it's a worldwide, it's the biggest worldwide organization of professional and business women, and the entire mm -hmm. focus is on. Uh, improving the lives of girls and women. So, I'm right all over down that. your alley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you um, you said some, something uh, that uh, made my ears perk up. You said uh, in your business that you um, you're still sort of doing doing community development work, but just in a different way, and. Um, I must say, and, and and somewhere in in your notes, you said something about uh, loving, connecting the right, uh, connecting people, and yeah. I might say uh, for the benefit of our our listeners and watchers, uh, I've um, I met Suzanne. Um, uh, gee, it must be two three years ago now. Uh, yeah. We both belong to a number of of um, networking organizations. And um, both of us having come from somewhere else, both of us uh, realized that if you're going to be in business here, you really, really must get out into the community and get to know people. It's really the only yeah. way that, that it's possible. And so you've done a wonderful job at that. Um, I notice you putting people together. I see little emails connecting people and... and um, you you just seem to you seem to really get the the whole notion of of networking and the the way it works on the community level, uh, and yes. uh, and I I you know hats off to you because you do such a good okay. job of that. <laughs> well, um, uh, okay, so I can tell you an interesting little little thing there, mm -hmm. and, and two things, um, but just to to answer directly to that point you were making. Um, I I sort of joke about being you know following the kind of the stumble upon method of business development, and uh, <laughs> so I had this calendar right, and actually and actually, okay, I'll give you a long answer. Um, the stumble upon you know business development went like this: had this calendar thought, mm -hmm. took it into to show retailers in the Victoria area. They all said, "Oh my God, yes, please!" And could you do cards? I went, oh, okay, hadn't thought of cards. Sure, I can do cards. So I started doing cards, like your cattle point one. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 uh, and so I ordered a bunch of cards, and I had, you know, I had orders for a 1,000 cards. So all of us stayed up one night until midnight, stuffing these cards into little plastic sleeves, right? Mm -hmm. And and one of my housemates went to work the next day, all tired and cranky because she'd have been up till midnight. So people at her work asked her why she was tired and cranky, and she told them. Well, they were a bunch of investment advisors. They said, "Well, where are some of these cards? We send cards." <laughs> so I went, ah, "Right, <laughs> business people send cards." So that's what, so I said to myself, I better get out there and meet some business people. So that's when I actually started a whole bunch of networking. Uh, then, <laughs> a year and a half later, I went, oh, and I, you know, and, and it was probably when my bookkeeper brought me a point set at Christmas time, right? And I said, I'm holding this thing. And I said, yes, 
business people do gifts to their clients. My calendar would make a great gift. <laughs> so, ah, right? So, so the so the first year, I I sold about 400 calendars to business people here around Victoria who were gifting them to their best clients. Mm -hmm. And then and then the next year, which which was just is just now finished, I set a goal to sell a thousand. And I ended up selling twenty five hundred. <laughs> oh, wonderful to, to business people and mm -hmm. and and it's because it's that is the result of um, you know two years of networking mm -hmm. and uh, because yes I was approaching people that I figured that it could relate to this idea but I was also getting people I'd you know I'd appear at a West Shore Women's Business Network and uh, and someone uh, you know would come up to me and say, you know, I should do your calendar for my 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 gifts this year. Okay, <laughs> great. <right? laughs> so, hmm. so 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 to your point, networking works. Yes, it yeah. does. Um, absolutely. So now. Um, and I'm one of those people who uh, chose to um, uh, not the calendars because I, for some reason, I'm really, really taken with your cards, and I, I just do love them. I so I gave uh, packets of of uh, cards, your cards, to uh, some of my clients, and got lots of um, lots of positive comments and so forth. So, yeah. so Thank yeah, you. well. But, I, so, I'm really curious uh, about, about the way you do this. Um, I heard somebody say something about uh, computer painting. Could you talk a little bit about your, the process that you use? And I, I might, sh I might right at this stage of the game show my yeah. very favorite. This yeah. is this is where um, uh, very close to where I live. And it, it I see I see that uh, in the morning. <coughs> and I think to myself, so how on earth could she reproduce um, and something that that is it it looks like a painting and yet it it came off a computer. So can yeah. you talk about that a little bit? So yes, and um, I was not an artist. At least I did not call myself an artist before I started this business. So I came at this from the business end of things, not from the art end of things. I had something I wanted to do, and I knew it was possible, so I figured out how to do it, is the short answer. Um, I, because I wanted the calendars to be art, not photographs. And, and my reasoning there is, I think, well, a couple things. Photographs, I think they have to be really, really, really good photographs. Right. And there's very few really, really, really good photographs out there. There's a lot of good ones, but not exceptional. Mm -hmm. So the paintings are, in a way, more forgiving than photographs. Uh -huh. And the other thing with paintings is um, you, can, you can romanticize it enough so that it's still absolutely recognizable as as you know one of your favorite places but it's not um, so exact that you that it's that it doesn't seem like you're there so with a painting it's easier for you to go oh yeah that's just like the morning you know that I walk it's easier for you to insert yourself into it so that's why I wanted to do paintings so um, but yeah right. I'm not going to take up acrylics or watercolors so digital painting um, works on, it's called a Wacom tablet and stylus that plug into the computer and it's, so it's a purpose-built tablet, it's not, you know, like a, like an iPad or a Samsung tablet, it's a Wacom tablet with a stylus and plugs into the computer. What I do with the stylus on the tablet surface is what I see on my, on my computer screen and I can tell the, 
the tablet to be any sort of surface I want. I can give it texture. I can tell uh -huh. it to be wet or dry. The stylus can be any kind of brush I want. So I can make it to be a, a, a big wide fan and just block out big areas. I can make it a, a round blunt brush and do something more specific and I can work up in layers from that background to the foreground just like you would on canvas. Um, I can make it a tiny little detail brush and you know and put in printing and that sort of thing. And if I make a mistake, <laughs> I can it erase it. Again. <laughs> or I can throw it out. I can throw out that whole layer. I can try a couple of different brushes and see which I what I like, and then and then throw out the one I don't like and keep the one I do like. So it's um it's very cool. And then I I can print out to anything. If uh, if someone does a commission, and I've done a number of, you know, again back to the stumble upon method um, of business development. Uh, golly, and I can't even remember how it happened, but. Uh, Somebody probably asked me for something. I went, oh, right, I can do that. So I could do house portraits. Or actually, I could do, I could do a painting of, of, you know, your favorite spot. Just give me a photo, and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll work on it. Um, so, uh, so then I can print out onto, uh, with archival inks onto archival canvas and make what's called a gicle print. Oh, yes. But it's... But it can be it can be an original, in that I sign it and number it one out of one, so uh -huh. it's the only one that I'm ever going to print. Mm -hmm. And and then if it's damaged or lost or something, you can always get back in touch with me, and I've always got the file. I can print out another one and it number it one out of one. Because <laughs> yeah, so oh. Oh, it's that's very cool. it's a, very cool. Um, I can, you know, I, uh, I went east for about three weeks in the summertime and had four commissions to do while I was away. So I could sit there in the evenings with my, um, with my computer and my tablet and stylus and, you know, be part of conversations in the living room, but also be painting. Um, it was, it, yeah, it's very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love uh, technology? I I uh, I think that that's wonderful. So you well, know, and I wanted to go back. Yeah, go if, ahead. I, if, well, I wanted to go back to your comment about community development, if mm -hmm. I may, mm -hmm. and and Thank just you. say um, I didn't realize that I was still doing what I love for quite a few months. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I was doing something completely different. I thought I had this simple idea to, you know, do a calendar. Mm. But I was not prepared for the depth of the emotional response that I got to it. And, uh, and, and to the cards. I mean, you're right. I mean, as you said, people love, they just, they love the images. And they, and they love, and it's got full, you know, little tidbits of information. And I've got recipes in there from people. People's favorite chefs in the area, and, and I, and you know, and people just hugely responded to that. And uh, it took me several months to figure it out. And I finally realized, you know, I personally, I know this about myself. I personally really need to feel connected to the place I am. I need to feel like I'm putting down roots, becoming part of the community. And then I went, aha, right, <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. Right? If anybody out there doesn't know about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, which is pretty universal, and the first one is, is food and shelter, and the next one is safety and security, and the next one is, is belonging and, and feeling loved, right? And I went, ah, okay, so it's not just me, it's everybody. <laughs> so I realized that what I was doing was, was actually providing a kind of a a feeling of belonging, a feeling of pride, a feeling of this is my place, in uh, you know, with these with these images. Um, and and yeah. it's, it's interesting that uh, you uh, you um, that you've connected that to your whole concept of of uh, uh, community development, because um, 
and and I mean all of your cards. Uh, I guess I haven't seen or seen much of your calendars because I'm so attracted to the cards. But they <laughs> they they all are about our favorite places in Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so then, you're right. That is that is. I mean, they make us by by having them. They make us feel as though we belong here. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And mm. and the other aspect that I realized um, is still community development that I'm doing is the calendar development that I'm doing elsewhere. So I um, I also produce a calendar in the Okanagan. And a calendar in the Kootenays. Oh, and, no, I didn't even know that. Huh, how cool well, is that? Well, how cool is that? And I did it totally by phone and email. I've done it. I haven't been there. but And so this is why I know that I can do this business from Laskiti. So what I do is bring together the work of 12 local Okanagan artists. Mm -hmm. and, and the art is all of the Okanagan. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the recipes are from local Okanagan chefs, so it's it's really interesting because it's again it's it's um, so it's 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 iconic Okanagan images, mm -hmm. and uh, and the and the local the idea of the local food as well, um, and it's local and it's and the images are from local artists, so so everything about it is. Um, is just celebrating the Okanagan or celebrating the Kootenays and they've had you know similar responses um, so connecting people yeah. to their own place where they are and that yeah. I mean it's such a simple idea but isn't that <laughs> always the way with business that um, successful businesses often um, are a result of a very different idea right and that's 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 amazing. So, um, I mean, I, I could sit here and talk to you all night, Suzanne. <laughs> I'm just so fascinated by, uh, by what you're doing. Um, I'm wondering, I mean, you, you've, you've, you've shared a, a major um, uh, clue for other, other solo entrepreneurs. I, I think you've already done that. Um, uh, but I'm wondering, and looking back over your 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 whole career, um, whether you have any specific uh, business advice that you might share with with um, our listeners. Well, um, I can think of a few things. Uh, one is um, what we've talked about, which is you know connect to your passion mm -hmm. and somehow. And the other is uh, like attracts like. In business, like attracts like. So what I've discovered is that, uh, for instance, the restaurants who want to be seen as being part of the community um, and, and feel like that's part of their, you know, um, their persona, mm -hmm. they love to be involved in, in the calendar. And then there are others who have no interest. So, so and it's the same with the business clients that I that I um, meet up with. These are people who who uh, who who get it, who 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 get the idea of a sense of belonging and a sense of tribe. Because what this does for business people is, you know, you gifting this group of of uh, uh, this 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 little package of Victoria. To your clients is is giving them the message without having to say it. It's giving the message: we both love this place. Yeah. We're in the same tribe, mm -hmm. and people like to do business in their tribe, right? So that's another thing. You know, like attracts like in business. Mm. Um, I, a, a very wise person uh, said to me, starting out in business, make as many mistakes as you can. As quickly as you can, <laughs> as quickly right. as you can. <laughs> right. And you know, and what he said was, when when toddlers are learning to to walk and they're you know and stumbling and they're falling down, sure we may laugh at them, but we don't think they're failing, right? They no. we think they're they're getting there, they're getting there, 
So it's the same thing. If you stumble and fall, oh well. Just um, get up and keep on going. <laughs> you, you know, you learn. What did you learn? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, and 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 likewise, going mean, back to the networking thing, I, if somebody wants to have a coffee with me, I always say yes mm -hmm. because. I never know where it's going to lead. Yes. It might be a dead end, but it might not. So that's sort of my mm -hmm. stumble upon. <laughs> Just you know, the stumble upon method is being open to um, the feedback that you're getting. Mm -hmm. the and possibilities and that really just flow your way. If you're open, you see them. Well, and and I'll tell you one other thing. Um, two other two other things that I've learned. One is um, I I I I'm, I don't know everything the best, and I'm sometimes and I that's this is a personal trait that I have that a number of people around me might <laughs> might say is you know I think I can I think I know best right, mm. and uh, if we've got time for a little quick story, um, mm. go ahead. A couple, uh, so this uh, couple of women uh, commissioned a house portrait, and they sent me a photograph that I thought was a ghastly photograph. It had, you know, the the big garage was there and the huge long driveway. The thing was like a third driveway. So I said to myself, I can do better than that. I can I can take a better picture. So I took a better picture, did a painting, emailed it to them, just said, What do you think? Right? They said, We don't like it. They said you haven't included, you know, the the garage because the room over the garage is the dining room, and that's where we sit to look out over the yard. So I said, <laughs> okay, let me let me recoup this. <laughs> so I went back to their picture, and I just figured out how to reshape it so that it didn't have so much driveway in it, but it still had the. Uh -huh. you know, the, the uh -huh the important room. So that was just a great learning experience for me that by God the customer is almost always right. <laughs> so to listen to what is important to people. Hmm. And uh, yeah. And the other and the and the, I think my final piece of advice is uh, is to people to uh, you know you can you can you can buy somebody to do your books or do your blogs or your website or or um, you know whatever the stuff that you hate at the stuff you're not good at um, you can't you can't buy anybody to get you up at five o'clock in the morning or or you can't buy anybody with your passion so so release your passion. Release the things that you're good at by getting somebody else to do the stuff that you don't want to do and that drags you down, right. and do that early, because yeah. it, the, because the re, the rewards will come back in spades. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> you better you better love all the things that you're doing because as a solo entrepreneur, you you know there are so many things that that have to be done and uh, it's probably not possible to be really really good at all of them so yes yeah we tend to uh, love the things that we're pretty good at I think <laughs> pretty much so as a um, as a way for us to uh, to wrap up uh, Suzanne I was hoping you'd be able to show some um, show our listeners and watchers, um, something, uh, an example. I mean, I know there are some lovely shots on your profile, your Google Plus profile, but you did have something that you were were going to um, share with us. And as yes. you're doing that, um, my question is: Is there anything that you would like to specifically promote, or do you have any a, an announcement that you would like to um, would like to give, or whatever? This is your well. Topic. I think uh, you know a picture says a thousand words, so I'll just um, I'll just show people. Uh, this is the March page of the 2014 uh, Victoria and Circle Tour calendar, 
So there's Willow's Beach, and uh, along with a recipe for uh, chocolate ganache from the Snug at the Oak Bay <laughs> Beach Hotel. All right. And, uh, uh, and then as well, there's a surfer at Jordan River, and there's, uh, um, there's a carver at the Kuitsen Cultural Center, and there's St. Anne's, one of our iconic historical buildings. Little, bit of, little tidbits of information about each one, some, what the weather's like in March. I think you can see we get uh, 150 hours of sunshine. The average high is 10 degrees, and we get four oh, right. centimeters of rain. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's that's the sort of thing that that um, I do. Uh, it, um, it's beautiful, and I I was just uh, when we were in the green room, uh, I was telling uh, Suzanne I was in an office uh, today. I uh, I'm trying to figure, trying to remember where the heck I was, and I saw a. Um, a calendar that had this wonderful shot of of the um, the little um, uh, fish store at the end of Sydney Pier, and uh, the waves just crashing up, and I got oh I love that picture, I had no idea it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes, and I guess in terms of uh, announcements, um, the one of the one thing that I that I brought out. Uh, last fall, which I'm really stoked about, is um, Baby's First Year on the West Coast. And it's basically a baby book in a calendar format. Starts mm -hmm. when the baby starts, and all of the images in it are West Coast. Mm -hmm. um, so, And that's been, it's just been a huge hit. So this year, I would like to, um, part of my expansion is I'd like to do a Baby's First Year on the prairies, and uh, I'm looking for anybody who um, is from the prairies to give me a call, and I just want to pick your brains a little bit about um, some of the iconic images that should be in the baby's first year book. Oh, so there, there's a challenge to all our our, our watchers and listeners. Um, so that what they could do is go to your uh, go to your profile on Google Plus and send you a message, couldn't they? Yep, that would be yeah. awesome. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well, Suzanne, I really um, appreciate you uh, taking the time and the interest to uh, to participate in this uh, nifty little <laughs> project that I'm I'm playing with here. And uh, I truly enjoyed hearing uh, all about what you're doing and how you're doing it and how uh, your, your stumble upon uh, business model. <laughs> I think it's great. So um, thank you so much. Um, and um, I just want to, uh, to close now um, with a reminder uh, not to forget to, uh, to join our, my weekly mastermind hangout called Being Your Own CEO. Uh, we're there every Tuesday morning to uh, to give and receive support and to help remove some of those stumbling blocks that the uh, the typical solo entrepreneur experiences. And if you'd like to know more about my programs, be sure to visit my website. You can see it on the screen here, workstyle-lifestyle.com. So this is Lowell Ann, uh, your solo enterprise coach. Signing off for now. Thank you. <laughs>